Hello and welcome to the Monster Magic Review of Vox by David Jonathan. Let's do this! So the big problem with me personally reviewing Vox by David Jonathan isn't because me and David Jonathan are great friends. It isn't because I am selling it through Monster Magic. It's because I don't own an iPhone. because I'm a noob and everyone knows iPhones are much better than Android. But fortunately, I do have one of Monster Magic's top customers. Don't tell his missus, James. Hi, Alex. How are you going? All right. I'm very well, James. So you bought Vox? I did. Yeah. You've been liking Vox? Oh, absolutely loving it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely loving it. We have been having a lot you of fun. You look a right state at the moment, by the way. I, me I know. It's my, it's my hair. Um, so, uh, Vox is basically, if anyone doesn't know, it's a card at any number, isn't it? It's pretty much it's a card at any number. Um, yeah. And uh, you're going to give me a demonstration. I do my best, yeah. Um, a live, unedited, clean, perfect demonstration of Vox. Let's go. Well, Alex, we've known each other for a little while, and you know my magical ability. I'm, I'm no card magician, but I'd like to try something this evening with you, if that's okay. Okay. Alex, we have a deck of 52 cards uh shuffled for your convenience as many a magician would say as you see there's no patterns no whatever's there but listen you're going to make the order even more random for me Ooh. but before you do that okay what i'd like you to do is think of a card don't tell me just think of a card keep it in your head got one yep cool what i'd like you to do now is cut the cards and complete the cut yeah Now, Alex, yeah. what was the card you were thinking of? I was thinking of the Nine of Diamonds. The Nine of Diamonds. The Nine of Diamonds. <sighs> Wouldn't it be amazing if the card that you cut to in the deck was the Nine of Diamonds? It would be absolutely amazing. Pick up that card, show the camera. I'm not that good. Mm, neither am it's I. The which is... Well, I said, as you know, I'm no card magician, right? You're right. But I do have an assistant. Um, they live on my... Your iPhone! Oh, who's your assistant? Her name is Siri. I well, see, I don't have Siri because I don't have an iPhone. <sighs> Maybe a bit there. So, Siri... And now, did you know Siri can do magic, by the way? I didn't know Siri could do magic because I don't have an iPhone. You couldn't find your card. Nope. But I think Siri might be able to. Really? Oh, that'd be amazing. Hey, Siri, give me a number. Hey, Siri, give me a number. The answer is 22. Sometimes you can be a little bit testy. Or he, <laughs> or they, or them. They, oh, that's not getting to that. Um, 22, right? 22, yep. Let's have a look. You reckon? 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. This Card again? Nine of diamonds. Siri? Is it? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Fox. No one, um, is, no one is more surprised than Jake. Yeah, no, trust me. Uh, you'll... Uh, that's brilliant, that. That's good. Yeah, really like it. Uh, we'd say, as we've as we've had a laugh about it, it's very much my go-to effect at the moment. It's uh, it's brilliant, and it's great value for money as well. So most cards are any any number. They require yeah. some sort of memory work. Does this require any cognitive ability whatsoever? Well, I think just from this pre-meetup this evening, you're well aware of my IQ. So um, you do not need any high IQ 
cognitive is a great big word for me to say, but you definitely don't need any of that as well. Um, David has done, or David has a wonderful idea, which is pretty much self-working. So self, really? Okay. Now, uh, you're using a slightly special uh, deck. Yeah, yeah. Is that in any way, is that just an easy way of doing it? Is it? Uh, so this is where if you were a pure magician, maybe you might be able to remember something from 1 to 52. Um, but there's no need to. Um, I know I definitely can't. And there's lots of ways David shows you to get the information that you need to make Vox work and fire for you. Right, okay. So the answer is let us know. Let us know? No, so we don't, you don't need a special deck. <laughs> you don't need a special deck. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're absolutely right, Alex. You don't need a special deck. You don't. Um, trust me. <laughs> you're... <laughs> Alex, you're absolutely right. You Am don't I? need you don't need a special deck. Thank God for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, What's in my head now is don't mess it now up I, now, James. I've, one of the problems I think with that is a connectivity issue, all of that stuff. Do you need the internet? Do you need anything like that? Anything? Yes, yeah, great question. You don't need the internet. Uh, this will work a hundred percent of the time without <laughs> without internet. Um you one of these things, Alex. You still look like. Do you want? Where's that tissue gone? You still need um, an iPhone. If you yeah. haven't got one of those, uh, it's not going to work. And obviously, I won't give poor old Alex another pie, but he doesn't have an iPhone. So the only thing you need, Alex, is an iPhone. Any uh, uh, okay? Oh, what's popped into my head? Yeah, is a particular version of the iPhone. Um, I think this acts of app. Sorry. I think this effect, as far as I'm aware, works on any iPhone. However, if you want to use a certain function of the iPhone, which is the back tap button, you need a model which I think is about eight or above. I might be wrong, but check that. It's all in the blurb uh, from David. What, what, what James is trying to say, if, uh, if only his brain would function at the speed of his mouth, is that you, you need an iPhone from Apple that, uh, that has at least iOS 12 upon it. Yes, yes, iOS 12, which, which means you can go back as far as an iPhone SE or an iPhone 5S. So perhaps, perhaps if you if you rub a museum or something, you might might be able to find one of those. But but anything later than that, so anything later than an iPhone SE or an iPhone 5S, not an iPhone 5. No 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 an iPhone 5S or later. Okie doke. Uh, and you you've got lots of apps on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you quite technical? Is this easy for someone who perhaps has avoided apps because of that whole nasty setup, complications, all of that stuff? Could could a could a noob like me do it? Hundred percent. Just it literally is what David gives you is almost a drag and drop onto your iPhone. Select what you need, which David will guide you to. Drag it onto your iPhone, and you're set and you're done. Don't need to do anything else. And is it just? So, so you've just shown me a card at any number. Is it just for cards? Is it just that effect? Is there, and it, you know, how versatile is it? What well, one of the things I really liked about it, Alex was that it's completely customizable. You can customize this as you wish, as long as you have something that you can remember, i.e., a stack. You can customize this how you wish. Already in the Facebook groups, it's been customized into many different languages. So there are people in these Facebook groups. I think that's one of the things I've enjoyed about it without just saying it, that this clearly is something that David loves and he's there pretty much to chip in or comment on any question and resolve any issues that might be ongoing. Um, not that there is any. You've got loads of apps. Yeah. You're not scared of using them. No. Where does this rank in the apps you've got on your phone at the moment? Top five. Top five. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Um, I think for me, one of the reasons I put it up there is that this custom customization that I've talked about, that you can take this as far as you want. And David really has opened the door for an area of the iPhone that's never been used before in Magic, so, I believe. Sorry. 
and 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 right so this this is what is it 20 20 something pounds 20 pounds 99 20 pounds 99 some other apps pricey pricey um it's great value for money uh, i i wouldn't i wouldn't think twice about recommending it if i'm honest with you for that for the price and for what it is so and it's and it looks good fun to perform absolutely i mean here's the other thing alex that is the most basic version of Fox. Um, I've had the app now for about three days ish. And the, I think something you mentioned to me whilst we were having a cuppa, David mentions he saves the best to the last on the tutorial. And he really does, which effectively is a, a hands off version of Fox, which the methodology is absolutely awesome. Can anyone do it? Yeah. The, the hands off version with a little bit of practice. You don't need any extra gimmicks or anything like that. You just need a little bit more practice. Whereas the basic version is straight, ready to go out of the box. The other cool thing, um, and there's a whole tutorial on this as well, is it works with Craig Petty's, correct me if I'm wrong, is it EDC? EDC. EDC. I don't know how he says it. Yeah, it's, it works with that too. I don't have EDC. Wonderful effect. But Fox has already been, all the hard work's already been done for you. So literally straight out of the box, so to speak, download the bits you need, and you're ready to remotely perform EDC. Uh, and once you join that Facebook group, there's a massive discussion on this as well. Uh, does, does, does it need updates? Does it, what, what happens to it? I think this is, I thought it would go, was going to come as an app. I thought it would be an app. And without saying anything or giving anything away, it, it's effectively not an app. And already... David has provided updates, which are free, and he posts them within the Facebook group. So already this is already evolving. Uh, I'll give an example. Uh, the first version of it, it was a little bit knacky with regards to input. However, now David has already come up with another method to input a little bit more discreetly. And that's within the space. How long has this been out? A few weeks now, right? Yeah. Uh, he, he really does care for this product, I believe. Well, that's what I feel about it anyway. And you've got a privacy filter on your phone. Yeah. Is that important in any way? Because I well, was, I've, you know, yeah, is that think, just to stop me from seeing your pin? Yeah, I think there's, there's as you say, it's a good question. Like, well, There's a certain bit of it where you've got to do something. And I, I feel what the privacy filter helps with is just angles. If there are pe people around you, of course, if someone's looking over your shoulder, they might see yeah. what they might be looking for. However, what a privacy filter does is literally from the left to right sides is block out or black out your uh, black out your screen. And I think that will help with anything that you're doing to get Vox to function. So what, so this is, so I've just been sending them out. What do you actually get when in, so I've just know this little envelope. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's almost a brochure that arrives. Um, it's nothing fancy. It has a link to take you exactly where you need to go to get Vox working. And within five minutes, you'll have the necessary tools to perform Vox in its simplest version. Well, so the, the tutorial is good, thorough, oh, easy definitely. to understand. It's not your, you know, it's not your two and a half hours of tuto tutorial. It very much gets to the point, and it very much, as David jokes about, please hang around to the end where he will talk about the best version of Vox, which really is cool. Now, my, okay, so here's, here's something. What happens then if, because I know some people who upgrade their phones a lot, or clearly I don't, if you've got a new phone, say they bring out a, an iPhone 15, Good are question, you stuffed? Yeah. Do you have to rebuy it? Because I you mean, see, it is only 20 quid. You see lots of people saying, like, oh, I can't get my app back on my phone. Yeah. Um, no, you, you're, you're complete. You, you, it's, it's not, the cool thing is it's not an app. And it doesn't rely on the internet. So once you have David's link, whatever phone you've got, your new phone is going to be ready to perform box. You just simply transfer it and that's it. No yeah, there's contact, no, no code, nothing, nothing. Nothing. No. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. You're, be a, you're a member of the Facebook group. David posts his updates through there. And that that's what would make you aware if anything is changing within, I want to say app, but, it's not that. I believe it's revolutionary. And I think maybe others would say they've done it before, but I've not seen anyone do anything like this 
with the way the iPhone functions. Oh, so it was so. Hang on, was, was it a pleasant? Was it a really pleasant surprise at how easy and good it was for me? Yes. The reason I say that is that it immediately. Like I'm not a hundred percent tech savvy, but it immediately gave me ideas about how I could cut back to this customization word, how I could customize it for myself and use it in other ways. Brilliant. So there you have it. That's Vox by David Jonathan. James clearly likes it, but what does the G say? Alex! I like how it makes sense to use the phone. So easy, even you can do it. No, you can't borrow my phone. <laughs>